Hey guys! In this tutorial, we will look at how to configure the Python requests library to make concurrent requests so that you can increase the speed of your scrapers. The more concurrent threads you have, the more requests you can have active in parallel and the faster you can scrape. So we will be walking through the best way to send concurrent requests with Python requests. Let's get started! The first approach to making concurrent requests with Python is to use the thread pool executor from Python's current.futures package. We are also importing requests to scrape the web page and beautiful soup to parse the HTML. The concurrent.futures module provides an API for dealing with threads and processes. First, we define a list of URLs we want to scrape. We create a function called scrape page that will take a URL as input and then return the scraped title into the output data list. Then, using thread pool executor, we create a pool of workers, which in this example we're using five, and these will pull from the list of URLs and pass them into the scrape page function. Now when we run this script, it will create five workers that will concurrently pull URLs from the list of URLs and pass them into our function to be processed. And in the terminal, we can see that we have printed the list of page titles. Using this approach, we can significantly increase the speed at which we can make requests with Python requests. In the next example, we will send requests to the ScrapeOps proxy API. This enables you to use all the available threads according to your proxy plan. Just change the value of num threads to the number of concurrent threads that your proxy plan allows. We can create a function to use ScrapeOps proxy service to fetch the URL, and then we'll call this function when we make our request in the scrape page function. Then we use the thread pool executor to create a pool of workers according to the threads available in our proxy plan. And you can get your own free API key with 1000 free requests by signing up on scrapeops.io. Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you check out the ScrapeOps YouTube channel, and if you would like to learn more about web scraping, then be sure to check out the Python Web Scraping Playbook at scrapeops.io.